Hi, my name is Christine. I'm in the Sports Medicine, Fitness and Technology program over at Kaiser University. As a final project, I chose to create this video for future interns. What you're about to see is everything I learned within one month of working at Project Walk Orlando and what you can expect in your internship experience. What we will go over are Project Walk's mission statement, a walkthrough of the facility, we'll go over the types of equipment that is utilized in their functionality, as well as an entrance duties that are expected from your trainers and clients. Duties such as how to transfer your clients from their chair, assisting your trainers by preparing the equipment, and basically the how-tos on being a proactive intern and not a reactive one. Our mission statement, Project Walk Orlando exists to provide those living with neurological disorders the opportunity to achieve their greatest recovery potential and an overall increased quality of life. We will achieve this with an innovative, specialized, exercise-based recovery program and dedicated staff in an environment filled with support, hope, and motivation. Welcome to Project Walk Orlando. I'm going to show you what goes on in this facility. So here's the front office. Here is Amanda's desk where she answers all the phone calls and deals with all the clients. Here's the scheduling board. As interns, we should be here 30 minutes before the first client of the day. To log and keep track of client's progression, this board holds these great results. This board is called the Client Milestone. Now, to the area you'll spend most of your time, the gym. Make sure you are familiar with your anatomy and physiology, but most importantly, know the functions of the brain and spinal cord, the functions that can be inhibited if injured, as well as the traditional therapeutic exercise equipment. All of the exercises at Project Walk Orlando are 1. Load-bearing and 2. Use repetitive movement. In order to shoot for a client's goals and ensure progression, we use these two key elements for the client's benefit of becoming stronger and increase their quality of life. Your trainers will introduce you to the book of exercise programs for each client as well as the DAS or Developmental Activity Scale sheet that is used for evaluations with new clients. Let's move on to learning about the exercise equipment and transferring clients. First equipment you'll see on your right is a side thing. It works up your upper body muscles. This is the standing bar. This is where our clients practice standing. This is our treadmill. Our clients practice walking and get a lot of repetitive movement. These so are parallel bars. Our clients work on balance and stabilization. This is our therapy table. It has multiple uses such as for stretching, for core exercises, just to name a few. This is our rower. Our clients use this machine to get a full body exercise as well as repetitive motion. This is our total gym. Here our clients practice locking and unlocking their legs as well as doing leg presses. This is our mat. Here clients practice rolling, kneeling, sitting in a safe environment. This is our adductor machine. It is primarily used to stimulate the core muscles. This is our Smith machine. It is used for upper body exercises like bench pressing and legs. This is our hip glute machine. Here our clients activate their core and their glute muscles. These are our spin bikes. Here our clients use them for cardio and to get a repetitive movement. These are our pacers. They are modified walkers. Our glider which helps them get into a standing position while being able to move their legs freely. We have our standing frames which 
which helps them get into a standing position. And then we have our lip walker. Here it helps them stand up and helps them get moving. This is our crawl machine. Sometimes we put our clients on a lift so it keeps them stabilized. The crawl machine is used for repetitive motion, some cardio, and working some upper body strength. Hi right, guys, this is the red cord. This is our suspension training system. The way you release the ropes is you pull down, pull it out, and then pull down on the other rope. Okay? Just like the blinds in a home. Once you've attached whatever strap you want to attach or a harness, you bring the rope on the other side to the straight end of the plastic piece. Pull it this way and pull up. And then it's locked in place. To release, you pull the other way, pull down, out, and pull down on the side that's attached to the strap. That's the red cord. This is the harness. Right now the back straps are pretty good. So you're just gonna kind of straighten everything out, make sure it's ready for a client to be put in it. So this is the harness. So now I'm just gonna get it strapped in the harness. Straps on. Okay, now I'm going to ask the client to roll over to your right. Perfect, that's good. Now I'm just going to tighten up the back straps. Okay, now roll back over to your back. Perfect, I would snug these down if need be. That's how we get someone in the harness. Okay. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is put your hands on this bar and push your hips back this way so whenever the lift lifts you up, your knees don't run into this thing, okay? So I'm still gonna block your knees out, but push your hips back. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna tighten up these back straps. Try to pull your hips into this tension. How's that feel? Feel like you're a little hot? Yep. That's it. Good? Yeah. So I'm going to start this. So I'm going to press I here. Zero, 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 zero is our task code. We're going to go forward. We're going to enter 15 minutes. Well, now, in two seconds, the motor is going to take over and it's going to move your legs through the range of motion itself. Okay? If at any point in time you need to stop, any red button on here will stop this machine. Okay? So now, the motor is doing everything for you right now. Your goal is to try to make the movement happen yourself. So this number here is 25. That's the speed the motor is set at. You want to try to make that number turn green. If you make it turn green, you're going faster than the motor and you're doing all the work. This number here is your speed. So if that turns green, you can look down here to see how fast you're going. So I want you now to try to create the movement yourself. Okay, green. This is your speed. You can also put your hands here and try to push and pull with your arms. Try to make it turn green again. Assist yourself a little bit. There you go. It's the elliptical. The eye care. Fantastic! Now that you know how to be an awesome intern, let's go over on what not to do while you're on the job. Please remember to stay proactive and not reactive. Do not sit, lay down, or sleep on any of the equipment while on the job. It is disrespectful to your trainers Stephanie, and your clients. Stephanie, you grab me a gate Stephanie? Hey, hey. you grab me a gate belt? <laughs> on your toes at all times, whether it's preparing the next exercise, helping the trainers assist their clients. Oh, you have a gate belt? Yeah, I can do it for you. Oh, yeah? And even spotting the clients. If you can't find anything to do, go ahead and clean the equipment. This is staying proactive and not reactive. Hi, I'm Bernadine. Uh, you're at Project Walk Orlando. Um, I would have to say one of the greatest bits of advice that I could give for a future intern looking for some place that they want to kind of land and get some experience. Project Walk Orlando, um, the three trainers that are here are really, really passionate about what they do. They could make a ton of money if they work somewhere else. And I really think that it's just, it's something about the chemistry 
that you know between the trainers between the administrator administrators here and the clients to where I'm excited to come in here and work out I love it um, you have to find the right dynamic the right chemistry the right fit for you the project walk is such a great fit for people who are serious about an internship and furthering their knowledge the guys here are a wealth of knowledge and they're very very happy to share it throughout each and every workout um, I just think it's kind of a no-brainer if you want to get ahead you should start here at Project Walk Orlando Project Walk Orlando thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to work with your company to the interns trainers clients and the staff you have given me such a great learning experience working over there to the future interns brace yourselves you're in for an adventure good luck <laughs>